If you're looking to build a structure on your property in Upland, you need Spark to do it. Spark isn't the easiest thing in the world to get, and it can be kind of expensive up front. So what if you don't want to invest in Spark? Maybe you want to be a free-to-play Uplander, so buying Spark is out. Or maybe you just don't have the budget for it. Is there a way to rent it from someone using Upix? Hey there, John Henry here, SSFTG. Welcome to the video. If this is your first time on the channel, welcome, my friend. I hope to earn your like and subscription today. Spark Rental is something that comes up a lot, but seems to be kind of hard to find info on because, well, there isn't a specific website that you can just rent it from, there's no in-game mechanic to do it, so how do we get it from other players? I'm personally working on my Sunset 2.0 property, uh, and I still, I, I need some help. I don't have a huge amount of Spark on it, so I needed to enlist some help by renting some. But how do we do that, right? Well, in comes Discord. The Discord server for Upland, as well as several other user-generated servers from other players, there are places in there that they post the spark that they have and how much they're renting it out for. It's literally just a matter of me going in and checking through the list to see what fits my budget. Uh, for me personally, my properties earn, let me double check real quick, Currently, my properties earn $46,999. That's an incredibly frustrating number. Um, so that hasn't changed. After a bit of math, that means that I'm earning about 1,545 upics a day, give or take a fraction here or there. So I want to make sure that the income from my properties, my other properties, those earnings are paying for my expenses, just like you would do in real life, right? I don't want the money to come out of my pocket. I want my earnings to pay for stuff. This means that my budget's going to be about a thousand upics, and that gives me a few hundred upics on top of that for sends and all of the other stuff. So after looking through the Discord servers, I found an ad from Robin of Loxley, which, by the way, is an absolutely incredible name. Um, I did have Robin's permission to be in the video as well, so they're in the loop and they know what's going on. And by the way, hello Robin, pleasure working with you so far. From there, I simply click on the username, sent them a message asking if it was still available to rent. Come to find out that Robin actually still had 0.83, I was only looking for 0.75, 0.83, nice little perk, and was willing to cut me a deal with the remaining since if I were to rent 0.75, they can't do anything with the 0.08 remaining anyway. Nice deal, right? Nice. That worked out perfectly, right? I get more spark than I was planning, and it still fits the budget. I do love when a good plan comes together. From there, I sent Robin the address so they could stake on the property. Once I went into the property under the manager, you can go under details and you can see that there is Robin of Loxley, which again, awesome name. Uh, and I can see and confirm that they are staking on my, on my building. So that's perfect. I can prove that they are on there, which is excellent. Now that I've confirmed that they're active and everything's good to go, I want to send them some Upix, right? So that's where things took a little bit of a turn because I went in, clicked on their name, and right under the name, you can see send Upix. But if you remember on the video that I did on this, there's a cooldown period, which I totally forgot about. All, all of my Upix on hand is fresh from sales, so I, I don't have any Upix on hand that I can send them, and I'm, I'm freaking out like, oh no, I'm trying to do a deal, and maybe this turns into a YouTube video, and now I'm stepping over myself. Um, but obviously, uh, Robin seems to have done this a few times before. They were really quick with a the solution. They gave me an address to one of their properties in LA so I could do a send payment instead. If you aren't familiar with what a send payment is or what the concept is, when you send it to a property, it costs Upix, which goes to the property owner. You can always see the value of that up there. We always talk about don't feed the gougers. Well, in this case, I actually want to because they're not a gouger. They're expecting a payment from me, right? So what they do is they set their property to the highest available. And in this case, in LA, that's 125. So since I owe Robin 800 Upix per day, that was our deal. I need to send to their property, in this case, I need to send them at least 800 upics, which is kind of weird math at 125. Six times is 750, and eight times is too many, uh, or seven times, rather, is too many. So we would just rotate back and forth. Now, as you can see, when you click on the little buttons there, I just went straight for sending enough times to call it a day. 
I did seven times because I'm not going to mess with the middle grounds uh, and rotate back and forth. I'm a trader after all, so I'm just going to round up for you, Robin. Thanks, my friend. Uh, at seven cents, basically, I'm paying Robin 875 upics per day. And every day that goes on until my building is complete. I just have to make sure that I remember to do seven cents to their property to get Robin paid. Or if my Upix isn't fresh anymore and I can send it, I can just use the in button, you know, send Upix feature. Uh, and then we're good for the day. Of course, you can also pay all up front. But for me, I play so much that it, it really didn't matter to me to do it just every day. And just like that, I'm helping another member of Upland Metaverse earn some Upix for Spark that they weren't using anyway, and I get to build my Sunset 2.0 property twice as fast. I was staking 0.8 because that's all I have available, and they added another 0.83. So I reduced my time by half. Talk about a no-lose situation. Thanks again, Robin, for helping me out of my property. And I mean, I know I'm paying you, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Thanks for letting me put you on YouTube and being an awesome person to work with. Uh, if you do need to rent some Spark, check the Discord chat and maybe shoot Robin of Loxley a message. They were awesome to work with, and I'm pumped to get this building done. Of course, if you aren't in Upland yet, as you can see, there are a lot of different ways to earn in this game, and Detroit is right around the corner. Now is the time to be jumping in. Detroit's bringing all of those juicy FSA properties that you can mint three or four of and be sitting awesome. So click the link in the description and get started with your starting Upix to grab some of those Detroit properties with me. Along with that, if you decide to buy some Upix, since you use my link, you get a whopping 50% bonus on your first Upix purchase with a cap of 50,000 Upix. And just a special for my SSFTG crew that used my link and bought some Upix with the, uh, with, the, with the bonus, you all gain access to our USP list where we sell our properties for 20% or lower below what we paid for them just to make sure that you have the absolute strongest footing to start. So I hope that helps you understand the current process of renting Spark from players. I'm sure, you know, there will be an in-game mechanic in the future, but for now, it's person to person, and I gotta admit, I, I kinda like it. Until the next one, thanks for watching, happy Spark renting, and we'll see you in the metaverse.